Where did my boy Fredbear go? Maybe I should just be. Oh, oh! Game contains loud noises, flashing lights, and lots of jump scares. Hey there, and welcome to Distorted Mind The Other Fred Bears by SM Glee. Now, the reason why I'm checking this game out is because literally yesterday, as of recording this, the sequel to this game has released, and I've been following that game, completely unaware somehow that it was a sequel. I don't know when this is going to be coming out, because as of right now, what I'm uploading is the banana splits, right? To keep this intro short and to get, you know, get on with the game, right? The story-wise, this is meant to be like a FNAF fan game that takes place in an alternate timeline, and the main premise is what if Fred Bears never existed until 1993, so like shifting the restaurant's existence forward by like 10 plus years. So I guess in a way it's kind of like the timeline has shifted, because obviously Fred Bears is the oldest location, it's the first location, and now this timeline, it's the newest location. It's kind of replacing the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza of 1993, where FNAF 1 takes place. Or, or that's when FNAF 1 takes place. But anyways, uh, let's just... Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's how you get the main menu. I was like, wondering what the hell you do there. That was odd. But yes. That's pretty much what we're doing. Don't know how long this game is. Uh, my goal is to finish this as soon as possible to get into true humanity. And then, I'm also aware that the Baby's Nightmare Circus VR Remake has also come out. And I really want to get into that as well. There's, and I literally have other stuff that I've been trying to do that I now have to push back because this new stuff has come out and I really want to get into that. It's it's a lot of busyness. So, ooh, look at that. All right, I'll stop. New game. Ooh. Oh, it, oh, that's okay. What the hell is this? It's like a. Why does it look like a monkey? Thank you. Oh. You're welcome. Right, one. Okay, so, because I read some of the details for the second game, the second game takes place over the course of one night. This obviously takes place over the course of, I'm assuming, five nights. Ooh, okay. Press space to see the time. Have your cursor here and press control to use a flashlight. Uh, left click, flash. turn on the light. On these tapes, I'll record every paranormal activity I found on Fred Bears while working as a night guard. First night on the job, two of the robots moved. It seems the company knows about it, so they gave me some sort of a device to defend myself. It helps me heat and shock specific parts of the office. I also got a flashlight. Fred Bear moves. He constantly bumps into everything. He will sometimes bump into the office. Okay. He'll through the doorway. When he's there, hitting the doorway using the device will make him go away. Then there's the rabbit. He's this, in the office. Not this one. Yeah, this he one. He's shakier as time progresses. Okay. Mobilizing him makes him stop for a while. That's everything for the first night. End of tape one. Oh, okay. I'm assuming... Oh, okay, so he's like a... Puppet mechanic. Oh, someone moved. That was Fred Bear. Oh, look at that teeth. Okay, the Amis is already kind of creepy. I like that. Real quick. So he's literally in front of my office now. Or outside. Ooh. Look at that. Also, why am I... My I like how my car is like wavy a little bit. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, calm down, calm down. All right, no, he should be. He shouldn't even be at the window or anything. There's a puppet mask. Where did my boy Fredbear go? Maybe I should just be. <laughs> to be fair, I should have seen that one coming. Continue. Accept your fate. Try again. Yeah, no, thank you. Let's just go again. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he'll leave here, and then I gotta really pay attention. It seems like he's going active, so I shouldn't even be losing this night. Especially since it doesn't seem like you have a battery. Also, I'm noticing a temperature here and, like, battery of some kind, so... Or power of some kind, so I'm trying to be, like, aware of that. Hi there. Am I supposed to... F I, I'm assuming I'm supposed to just... Stop here. 
should I like listen to the phone? Tape one of five. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, so that was my bad. Okay, I didn't even. <laughs> I heard a device and I assumed it was a flashlight. I'm like, oh yeah, the flashlight's the device that protects you. But no, use this or this. Okay. How does it, and that affects your temperature. Okay, I see. And this. Ah, okay. I'm not sure what the, those sounds are supposed to be, though. It like, sounds kind of ghostly. And it's like it goes from the left to the right. I'm not sure why they want you. I don't know why, in this case, they have you press space to show the time here. First time I've seen that, but not too much of an issue, I think. Oh, use it. Easy. Okay, and it raises the temperature by 10 degrees. You could definitely go up to 80. I'm assuming maybe 90 is good enough as well. Hard to tell. I'm trying. I, I'm assuming the endo's gonna come through the the vent because it usually always happens. Oh no, man! Endos just load the vents. They get a little quirky at night. What can I say? But that. You know, the whole distorted mind thing is starting to kick in. Oh. Okay, 6 a.m. That'll wake me up. Oh. Okay, so you... Oh, okay. So that I, well, that is a night system. Oh, uh, look at Spring Bonnie. Why are you missing your whole torso? That that doesn't look fun at all. That looks ra rather creepy, actually. Click here. Oh, no. New mechanic. Oh, no. Tape two of five. That's not good. Second night on the job. No robot moved. That being uh -huh. spring body. He seems to go on a certain path, unlike Fredbear. He moves uh -huh. almost randomly. Spring body starts on stage. Then yeah. he moves to camera four. Then he enters the vent on camera five, and then he'll try to enter the office. Yeah. When he's uh, in the vent opening, using the device to heat the vent will make him return to a stage. Okay. I also noticed that the office lights started flickering, so I had to fix them. Yeah. The rabbit started shaking more violently while the lights were flickering. That's Ooh. everything for the second night. End of tape two. Okay, so I kind of get it. So, aside from so spring binds the vent guy, and when it comes to the lights, I'm assuming the lights are gonna make this meter drain faster. Meaning that if you see flickering lights, if your lights start flickering, yeah, you gotta go over here, you know, do the fixing, like this. And it seems that you can fix the lights, like, you don't have to be watching that button the whole time. Which is good. Oh, they both disappeared. <sighs> Darn it. But for both of them, you have to just heat the doorway slash vent, so that's not thing too complicated, nothing too crazy, you know. I'm just waiting to see what are the shock functions going to be used for. Especially now that and now that they added more mechanics like the... Ooh, spooky. Uh, like the radio and everything. That's going to make things a bit... Oh. Okay. I guess because of the fact that we're going to see like flickering lights, you know, again, warning about the flashing lights thing. Oh, oh Jesus. Easy peasy. Oh, spring buying already left. So spring. Okay, so they're kind of quick now. So I shouldn't really underestimate how. Um, I should be like consistently careful about this. See what I mean? He, like Fredbear. Fredbear literally got here faster than Spring Bonnie did, and Spring Bonnie left first. Oh. Let's see. Temperature wise, what? Uh, what? For a second, I was about to say, uh, why is Spring Bonnie and I was about to say I see two characters in the same spot. Oh, and now you're climbing in. Okay. Oh, oh, fix the lights. Ah, Fred Bear. Ooh, I, that is a creepy face Spring Bonnie makes. Well, they always have to make Spring Bonnie creepy, don't they? And also, we'll see what this giant rabbit. This doesn't really look like... I mean, it's clearly supposed to be Bonnie, I assume, but... It looks off for some reason. But, then again, so does everyone else here. Oh, oh my. Okay. 
What's the time? 5 a.m. We're doing good. See, we're making good progress, as expected. I'm kind of happy with the way that I've been making some of these videos, like, in terms of, like, progression-wise and length-wise, because I've played quite a few fan games this month, I think. Obviously, you have the Banana Splits games, you have... Well, I'm dry. Uh, wait, no, Baby's Nightmare Circus is end of August, actually. Oh, no. No, don't do that. I accidentally shocked. I was worried I was going to get, like, shish kebab for that. I just get worried because the scrolling isn't, like, super quick. So, that's why, like, I have to notice quickly. But, okay. Okay, so, Friday's going to be active now. With his red eye. Yeah, I mean, we've played Transmitters Lost Souls. We've played Baby's Nightmare Circus. But we finished Dormitibus, pretty much. Twisted Carnival, like, we've done quite a bit. three of five. Third night on the job. Once okay. again, another robot boat. Who? Freddy? The robot I'm referring to is Freddy. Yep. He follows a path, like Spring Bonnie. He starts in the back rooms on camera three. Yeah. Then he moves to the dining room in camera two. Okay. Then he'll appear in the window. He doesn't Ooh, stay yeah. there for long. When okay. he's gone, he'll try to enter through the door. Okay. However, you can't see him in the doorway. If he isn't in the cameras or in the window, he's in the doorway. Using the device to shock the doorway when he's there will make him go away. Okay. That's everything for the third night. End of tape three. Okay. He'll be in the window, and then he'll be at the doorway, but you can't see him in the doorway. Am I getting that right? Therefore, if... You know, I know he's at the window, and then he's gone. That means he'll be at the doorway, right? Because obviously there's no reason for him to, be, to go from the windows back on cameras. So that's when I shock. I have to be careful, though, because that means I have to check for these characters, rather, you know, in a weird way. I mean, not really. I just have to keep an eye on Freddy. Freddy goes from camera three to camera two, and then my office, the window, essentially. Oh, the Freddy moved. All right, so now Freddy's there. Freddy and Fredbear are there now. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Just gotta keep a careful eye on, on them. Uh-oh, Freddy's gone. <laughs> I was gonna shock the doorway. But you have to be quick. You have to be very careful there. Oh, shock the door. Nope, wrong door. Oh. Okay, so now that's how you get Fred. Freddy's already out. Ridiculous. I literally just shocked him. Did not mean to do that. Oh my god. It's too easy. It's too easy to click that. To be honest. Oh no, you don't. So it seems like camera two is the one to keep an eye on. Did stop shocking. It's not good. I can't keep shocking like that. I keep getting confused. Oh no. Is he there now? Shoot. <gasps> no! I did it too early! <laughs> you kind of see like a little flash when it happens, by the way. is Oh. Like that. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, it's one of those games that you can move the window around. That's cool. Fredbear literally showed up twice and Spring Bonnie didn't show up. Like, Fredbear was able to show up like three times, give or take? Oh, no. Oh, speaking of double. Again, I just have to be careful with Freddy. The other two, I think I can handle easily. It's just Freddy is very quick. Like that. But I have to keep my eye on him at all costs. The only thing that's annoying about this is how, is the way you like smoothly turn. Sometimes it can get a bit annoying when it comes to like just um oh 
No! Bloody hell! Oh my god. I don't know why, for some, like, I look at this, the game, like, the office design, as simple as it is, I, like, I saw it, and it instantly reminded me of how claustrophobic the office in Project Readjusted felt like. Like, you know, having that one small room with the door in front of you. I don't know, it just reminded me of that, to be honest. I mean, it's a pretty small office, and we have that hulking... Oh... Oh, you're here. Okay. Just it. Oh, he's already back. Wonderful. Oh, when did I move this all the way in the middle? All right. I think it's in the clear now. Oh, I hate being this early. I hate trying to like do it, say it so early, but I uh, don't. No. Oh. I mean, if, you know, if the time wants to hurry up. Hell no, he left, didn't he? Yeah, bloody clown left. Yeah, he would have gotten me there. I I saw that flash, I was like, no shot, he's actually gonna try and do this now. But he did. But he still got caught, so he's a clown. Uh, it's the end, though. He's going to vent. And I'm gonna be assuming that for the end, though, I have to shock him. Lay it on me. Tape four or five. Fourth night in the jump, their animatronic moved. As yep. always, I'm referring to is the endoskeleton. Yeah. He follows a path. Of course, but like all these. shorter than the other robots' paths. He starts in camera four, moves to camera six, and then he enters the office through the vent opening. Yeah. He can't be seen by using the flashlight, but he can be heard. However, oh. it is better to watch its progress through the cameras. When you hear him, use the device to shock the vent opening. That way he'll go back to his stage. The radio huh. also started making weird loud noises. Okay. The rabbit didn't like them, so I had to change oh. the channel of the radio. Just break the radio. It's everything forward what? Fortnite. End of tape four. Like, like what? the radio started annoying the rabbit, then turn off the radio. Like, why, why, is, why do I even have a radio active? Oh, uh, the end already started. Oh my, he's already here. Oh no. Some sound just started. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh no, he's on the vent. Oh my god. Oh my, god. the stupid... How do you deal with this again? Oh my god, seriously? No, you it he He's still in the bloody vent. So the the color of his eye is a warning sign. Oh Did not mean to do double the heat. Not right, good though. We're at fifty percent. He's getting pissed. That's fine by me. So it seems like the one you really want to watch is uh this guy. Kinda like Foxy in a way. As long as you keep an eye, you can't possibly lose. Besides, you get a, like, audio of Q anyway. Alright, just had to make sure it wasn't also, like, him. There we go. Right? That should be good now. Don't you- So, okay, so it's too early. So, you might as well listen for the audio Q. <laughs> That's a loud audio Q, by the way, like, good lord, calm down. But now that I know that, so there's no point in monitoring the progress, because I thought it was like, okay, you could hear the sound cue, but you might, I mean, I get why they say monitor the progress, because that way, when he's like having the red eye, for example, right, you can be prepared. Luckily though, it does seem like, uh, oh, I almost forgot the bunny. Oh, he's already, he's already in the vent, look at that. What a champ. But anyways, at least now we can be prepared. And he moves slowly in the vent, as I said. Like, it's 2 a.m. and he just, he's there, so... He's not gonna be, like, someone who's super active, essentially. I mean, yeah, you just have to follow this gameplay loop and you're pretty much set. I think it's just that you have to be ready for when... When the bunny, like, when it's red, that's when you have to be, like, here, like, constantly, because... The reality is, like, the jump scare... The, the jump scare... 
the sound cue happens and then bam he gets you right so you don't you're not really given a lot of time to like move so i, I can't if i hear that sound cue and i'm like looking at the at the see like right now right now i have to stay here i have to stay here and be ready because he is moving a bit quicker than freddy uh you know, honestly, I think this might be a good place to stop it, actually. Except my fate. <laughs> no, like, I think it's a good place to stop. I think, for the most part, I believe there are only the five nights. So, the goal would be to finish nights four and five. After that, we can hop right into True Humanity. And then, obviously, deal with other games like uh, Baby's Nightmare Circus. You know, VR Remake by Riptide. We can also look into, I don't know, the whole, the other games I've been trying to play, like, recently. Like, good lord. There's so many, someone suggested that I try to post night, post shift custom night. There's a lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. But uh, hopefully I can get through it. It's just that it's hard to, uh, I noticed that weekends are, like, the slowest things. Well, slowest progress, slowest days of progress for me. I do my work quickest on the weekdays. But anyways, with all that said, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know you're enjoying the content and want to see more of it. Of course, the game is in the description below, as always. And with that said, I hope to see you in another video. Take care.